This is a question about vectors. Uh, B and A are vectors, that's why they're bolded, and the I and J are unit vectors. The first thing we want to do in this problem, generally, is to figure out what the vector A actually is. We're given some information about how it will react or how it will change when it's added to vector B or when you subtract a vector B from it, so we can set up a system of equations based on this. Keep in mind that vectors work in a way, in such a way that they can be isolated by their components. So the first thing I'm going to do is focus solely on the x component of the vector, or rather the, the components that involve the unit vector i. The problem tells us that 6.0i is one component of the vector when a and b are added together. This must mean that the i component of a plus the i component of b will equal 6.0i because of the way that those components can be separated and treated as separate. And this is what I have begun to show here. Um, the, little, the little circumflexes above the i is just how I uh, sometimes write unit vectors in writing, because obviously I can't get the bold down in handwriting. But, uh, but anyway, we'll want to do the same thing for the, uh, the second result we're given, where if b is subtracted from a, then we'll get negative 4.0 in the i direction. So let's show that. And here's what that looks like, that the a vector in the i component minus the i component of vector b is equal to negative 4.0i. We want to find what a should be in the original vector. So we can solve this using uh, treating this as a system of equations by just adding the two vectors together. Because, and we can do this because this b component is positive and this one's negative. So if we were to just add the two equations together, then the b component should just cancel out. What we end up with are the two a's adding up to make 2ai, and then the 6 minus 4 just becomes 2.0i. So now to get a on its own, to find out what a is in the i component, we just divide both sides of this new equation by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, of course. So a, the vector a, in the i direction is equal to 1.0. Now let's do the same thing for j to find out what the j component of a is. So here I have written a system of equations for the j components in the same exact way we did it for the i's, and I want to add these equations together in a similar fashion to solve for the j component of, I, of a. This is the next step here, and then we divide both sides by 2 to get a on its own. And so we find that the j component of a is 4.0. This means that the vector a, on a in, in its totality, is 1.0 in the i direction, plus 4.0 j. Now the problem is asking us for the magnitude of a. So to find the magnitude of this vector, now that we know both components, is to take the square root of the sum of the squares of each individual component. So the magnitude of a is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared. And if you put this into your calculator, you find that this is equal to about 4.1. So that is our answer. That is the magnitude of vector A. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try, I'll do my best to help you out. If you have any requests for other videos like this you'd like to see me do or other problems, I have a Discord server which is linked below. Have a nice day.